snakes are amazingly diverse, and they've conquered all types of terrain, none more so than boa constrictors. And it's a name that gives the whole game away. These snakes live to constrict. Before they can get around to that amazing feat of strength, they have to catch their food. And that's where the problems begin. Let's look at how three different boa species from around the world use different hunting techniques. First up, the boa constrictor of South America, an effortless climber of trees. Then there's the cave boa from Puerto Rico, who's after an unusual meal. And finally, the sand boa, a snake that can swim. This is no great feat, as all snakes can, but they can't swim in sand. South America first, where our two and a half meter long female boa has her heart set on a rather feisty meal. These snakes are so confident in the trees that even unwary monkeys are on the menu. The only trouble is getting close enough without the main course spotting you. The cave boa demonstrates a different tactic. It lies in wait. This snake looks like it's in the open, but remember, this is the pitch black of a cave, and it's after bats. If it keeps perfectly still, one might get into range. The only way it can hunt them is by detecting their warmth, using special heat-sensitive pits in its face. But it's slow going. Our sand boa combines stalking and sensing. But instead of heat, it can feel vibrations. Vibrations that travel through the sand. The drum beats of unwary feet. It never peeks, it just follows its senses. So accurately that this agama lizard is doomed. The only way the lizard can delay becoming a boa meal is to stop moving. All three techniques have their shortcomings. The problem for our South American boa is that hunting intelligent eagle-eyed primates means that the slightest wrong move can trigger a rather frenzied response. Once these capuchin monkeys have all been alerted, the hunt is over. It's exit starter, main course, and dessert. Sheer numbers give the cave hanger a better chance. This cave is home to hundreds of thousands of bats, drastically increasing the odds. And after all, these snakes have all night. Their reflexes are amazing. A bite holds the bemused bat. And before it can even think of struggling, the boa loops a couple of coils around it. Death follows rapidly, not by crushing, as many people think, but by restricting the victim's breathing. The snake's muscles tighten and the bat is rendered unconscious, never knowing what it was that grabbed it in the dark. <laughs> 